Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> I hate, like, when I look at myself sometimes, I'm like, ugh. It's like, I just wanted to come on here real quick. And, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, I had to look this out. Like, it's time for bed. It's time for me to get some Z's. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I feel like a lot of the old YouTube, that's really what they had. Like, they had a lot of, like, videos that were just like, yeah, it's late as fucking night, but I'm going to go ahead and make this video. You know, I learned a lot of things from old YouTube because of the fact that people would just vlog about things that they were talking about. You know what I'm saying? And so I think, like, that's why I'd be on YouTube, really, because, like, that type of shit I like making my videos about. Um, with that being said, I want to really, um, I'm only like, I don't know, it's hard, it's, it's weird, because I'm looking at myself in the video, I'm like, oh, it's weird, you know? Uh, I just really wanted, to, I just really had to, like, let this out. Some things I talk to myself about, you get what I'm saying? And I don't, like, let it out. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just like have it like internal. Like I just talk to myself about like the same what I'm doing now, but without the camera rolling, um, without all the extra talk. I just get straight to what I'm thinking about. And um, I feel like when I'm on YouTube, I gotta like let it out and let like, but like explain myself. Like, and it helps me kind of organize my thoughts. Got a bit of fucking red wine here. It's a bitter taste. I just drink a whole fucking beer, a pint, but like, was it enough? So, here I am. Mm hmm. Some red wine. So, that's not how, how I get down sometimes. Sometimes I like beer. Sometimes I don't like beer. I'm sitting in my mom's restroom. I'm sitting in my mom's room. This is like the family house restroom. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going. So, uh, it's like through almost 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just came out from work, you know, doing the dough at uh, Little Caesars. So, I was basically like making lots of dough for tomorrow, all the pizzas we're going to make. And, um, yeah, I came home probably around like 11 ish. And uh, one thing led to another. My fucking nephew came out and started fucking trying to hang out with me and shit. And it was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, it's just crazy because I'm like, my brother starts talking to me about this shit because like, he was like, go to bed, what the fuck are you doing out here? It's like 12 o'clock in the midnight and you're awake. Like, what the fuck? So I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I'm like, I feel that same shit, you know? But I was kind of, like, very nonchalant about that shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. Let's like, get the kid out of here so I can fucking sit here and watch TV and eat and drink my fucking beer, right? And I you, I put my, I had a lager. I put that lager in the freezer so it can get cold and shit, you know? So I could drink it all later on the night, chill, watch YouTube, and, like, sleep, right? Because I got work in the morning. So then my brother starts to just go on this tangent about shit. About, like, I can't believe you're doing anything. And it got to, like, the core, like, responsibility. And it kind of touched me a little bit. And I feel like I had to, like, say some things to him based off my nephew's behavior because I deal with this motherfucker every day. Especially you know, at that time, I didn't have a job. You know, really, like, now it's really official because they put me on a schedule and just made a three week schedule. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, I got my monies now. Money's, money's going to be coming in. I'm going to work for the next three days. You know what I'm saying? Um, all the way to Tuesday. Right now it's Saturday night. Sunday morning, really. But, uh, yeah, so... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Major Pain? Major Pain with, uh, what's his name? One of the Wayne brothers. It is. I'm in business, lady, and business is good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, something like that. Um, so, it's just weird, though. It's 
weird because it's like my brother, like, oh my god, he just. I'm, I'm gonna say what I said. I only say this because I want to tell you what I'm telling you. Oh, so my fucking brother, my older brother, this motherfucker, like talking about his kid and shit. We start talking about his kid, and, blah, blah, blah. and I just like let him know about some things and shit. But, but I don't want to get too too deep into it. But we start talking about that shit. We start talking about fucking like. You know, him being a kid in these days and times and just being young and the, us being old and all this shit. And it was kind of like, it kind of fucked me up, you know, when he started, like, going in, you know? And I, I some things kind of pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie. Some things I have to say. For one, we start talking about, like, homelessness and, like, people that are fucked up in life. And this motherfucker really had the nerve to be like, oh, some things are just spiritual, bro. They're just spiritual. And I'm thinking in my mind, man, shut the fuck up. You know? Like, bitch, you never dealt with that shit. Fuck you. Eat a dick. You never, you never, no. You know, no. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. No, this isn't about, hey, come here, come here. Fuck you. You know? So, but I digress, right? Trying to pick up sand. You get what I'm saying? <sighs> so, that's the first thing. And the second thing was, um, I was like, yeah, I, was like, I, like, I agree with him. I was like, yeah, demons. And shit. I used to believe in that shit too, but not like literally demons. I would not literally believe in like demons and shit. It'd be more like, Oh, people have problems and shit. It's like psychological issues to some degree. You know, that's what demonology is about. You, like, remember, I'm dealing with a demon right now, you know. But when you ascend in demonology, you know, those are really the gods. So, all right, I'm dealing with Ishu or a trickster spirit. And the trickster spirit is the motherfucker that laughs at you. He wants you to play yourself, nigga. You get what I'm saying? And that's pretty much it. But I digress. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm dealing right now. Metaphorically. It's like, I'm having, I'm happy. I'm not going to lie. I'm drinking some wine. Got a whole thing of wine. I'm about to look at chill. But look where I'm at. I'm in my mom's house. Fuck this place. I'm, I'm talking to my fucking older brother who fucking believes in demons. Sorry about that. He fucked up white. Fucked up white. Hope you also hear me. So yeah, you know, um, but yeah, it's like, this is, this is what I'm dealing with right now, so it's like, weird, you know? But anyways, um, so, we start talking about women, and how he's like, oh, I hate this part, of this, this part of I can't go into that, because if I do, he's gonna be like, oh, that's why you gay, though. That's why we know you gay. And it's not even about me being gay. Because these niggas don't even, it's like, <laughs> it's funny as a man you can literally just say I'm gay and everybody thinks they know you they think they it's like they think that they know oh he sucks dick or oh he takes it in the ass he likes getting fucked in the ass he likes to kiss other hairy other men and they're, he likes to eat air, air, air. they don't know nothing about you you could be literally just say I'm gay because you like the color pink. You you like to wear the color. You think it's a cute color. You like being cute. They don't know what the fuck they're even talking about. <laughs> but it's like just because you said that shit, these motherfuckers think they know. They don't. They know what they know what's in their brain. But the fact that they can't even articulate, they understand that they need to articulate that in a detailed discussion. A uh, very highly intellectual discussion shows that they're fucking stupid. But I digress. Right? So, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, like, okay, whatever, bro. And then this nigga literally goes into his son and starts talking about his behavior. And he's like, yeah, he's not gay. He's not gay. I'm like, I. <laughs> You know, and it goes back to the thing I told you in my last video I made, when like my family thought that like, you know, 
they, they saw some gay shit on YouTube and thought that it was because I was looking up gay shit or whatever. I don't even know what it was. The video was. My mom just told me that, like, she caught some, like, gay video nail polish fingernail thingy. I don't know what the fuck it was, dude. You get what I'm saying? On the YouTube, on the fucking smart TV in the living room, and she started blaming it on me. And I'm thinking, like, if I was gay, I'm mature enough to not give a flying shit about some fucking queer ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not even, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I say that shit, it's like, I'm, even if I was, you know, gay like that, it's like, bro, I'm not even, like, doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, on a realistic level, go watch J Love. He used to talk about gay shit, being gay, all da 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 da. He looks just like me now. Low haircut, regular facial hair. He's, he's just a dude. He's just a dude. You know? <laughs> so, you know, been out with women, all that shit, and he's living alone. You live alone and she has a man, all of a sudden, oh, you're gay. You're not fucking, yeah, pussy. Women are always right. It's like, it's just, uh. <laughs> yo, yo. But anyways, so he's like, he's not gay. He acts like that because, you know, he lived, he was born and raised and lived with his mom for the past 10 years of his 10-year-old life. And I, I know that. And that's what makes it weird. I, was like, I, remember, I know that. I never said he was gay. So see, what happened was my mom told my brother. And then my brother started coming to me and said, I'm the one that has the problem and I have ten gay tendencies. And so that's why I wear queer tendencies. And that's why I was watching this video. And I'm like, nigga, <laughs> What are you talking about? And so because I told my mom, he acts feminine and he watches there's gay people in real life. And so like they're on YouTube like every other human being on the planet. And he might fucking encounter that shit and then gravitate towards it because of his own effeminacy. You get what I'm saying? And she's like, I don't even know what you mean. I don't even know what you're talking about. Right. There's no such thing as gay men that are effeminate. Okay, they just don't exist. That's the homophobia I'm dealing with. Like, stupidity to homophobia. Like, just like, bro, what? Like, do you see a woman? Or do you see a fucking beard, with a low cut, bushy ass eyebrows, brown bone? Do you hear, do you hear a high pitched voice? Do I sound like a fucking chipmunk? So, you see, fingering up. So, what am I giving you that makes you let you know that I am? Queer. Okay, so if I'm not giving you that, why are you doing that shit? It's because you're homophobic. I'm sorry. That's what homophobia is. You have an issue. I digress. I actually looked it up, and yes, homophobia when it's paranoia, on a point of a paranoia or aggression, is a mental disorder. And I personally think all forms of homophobia. Are mental disorders, especially in this modern day and age. You have a mental disorder if you're homophobic. Hi, home folks. Anyways, next. So then, like, we can start talking about motherfucking. Um, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me. So then we can start talking about um, fucking. What do you start talking about? It's like, well, stupid as shit. I can't remember. Got drunk, thing a lot. Um, he started talking about fucking like me and like how we started talking about my sister and my older sister and how she's like kind of like waywards and he doesn't want to listen to what I have to say when I'm talking about her because he act like he know more than me and it's like man fuck you nigga Sit, my sister's been out of the house since she was 18 years old but she's been living with dudes cause dudes will simp and pay for her to live you know what I'm saying? We start, he's recent. Oh, my, she's never been fucked up. And I didn't realize her life is fucked up because she's a woman. And I'm like, yeah, nigga, I know that shit, too. Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, why are we even having this discussion? Nigga, that's obvious. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm thinking, like, okay, yeah. What about it? And I was trying to explain to him, like, bro, I lived with this woman for a whole year with her ex-boyfriend that she still was fucking with. And he was my roommate. I lived with the bitch. 
I lived with her in a stu- one a studio apartment, no one bedroom, a whole studio apartment. So I woke up, saw this bitch. I ate, I saw this bitch. I showered. I saw I sh- everything. Nigga, we lived together for a whole year. It's like nigga, I saw everything, everything, everything. You know what I'm saying? The guy saw everything in that bitch. So it's like you can't tell me about my, my sister. And I don't know. I know her. You get what I'm saying? I try to explain to him, like, I try to explain all these things to her and shit. Every time you bring up a topic, I'm like, I talked to her about this shit. She just riding the fucking cock carousel. If you're in the ministry, you know what I'm talking about. The cock carousel. She's riding that shit. She's just hopping the dick onto dick. She's hopping the dick to dick to dick. Because she thinks that she can fucking make these niggas simp for her. It is what it is. But anyways... It just amazes me, man. Sometimes I have that on my chest. And I'm just like, this nigga really seen her acting like I don't know nothing. Then he was like talking about our dad and you know that my dad got arrested when I was fifteen years old and was in prison until I am twenty nine until right now and he got released, but then they fucking deported his ass. So now he's like fucking fifty, sixty some years old, I think, you know, uh back in Nigeria. And so I'm like looking at this nigga like my bro my brother's like, yeah, we all were you know, but he's like, the reason why your sister's like that because she doesn't she was she doesn't fucking know how to date, you know, men and shit, you know. She doesn't know I'm thinking I'm like, fucking bullshit. She's riding the cock carousel. You can't blame it on the fact that she didn't have a fucking dad. That's bullshit. How are you gonna tell your your son to take accountability? When you make excuses for your sister, you make excuses for women, and you're obviously, I think you make excuses in general for yourself, and, and you know what I'm saying? And bullshit. It's like, stop making fucking excuses. Stop making fucking excuses. That's an excuse. Yeah, he got arrested when I was 15. My sister's two years older than me. So he should be 17. That doesn't mean anything. You know, I probably was 14 at the time, because, you know, I remember 15, because whatever. But still, it's like that's a fucking excuse. That's a hard ass excuse. So he, so then he tried to like force it on me, like, oh, like, you know, I don't know if they forced it on me, but he tried to like show, like, try to manipulate the situation. And basically, this is what he said to me. He said that I was I was affected by our dad being not being in our lives. And I'm thinking in my mind, like, I'm 29 years old, nigga. I'm 29 years old. That's fucking, that's, that's, that's horse shit. Now, that's the first gut reaction. But when he means by, like, my dad not being in our lives, you have to realize, I've had my dad for 15 years in my life. I know this man, right? At least on a, on a humble level, on a, on, a, on a wholesome level. When you say that, what the fuck do you actually mean? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking, like, he was doing illegal actions that landed him in prison for over 20 years. Sorry, for about 20 years. 15, the behavior. And he was deported. Then my family's like, oh, he paid a lawyer. Then the lawyers work with the government, the, you know, the, the state, and they got him deported. The, the, lawyers, the lawyers were supposed to help him. I'm thinking in my mind, like, you fucking stupid motherfuckers. This is what I'm saying. The stupidity level of my fucking family is, like, up to fucking here. Like, it's, it's just stupid shit. But anyways, I, 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 once again, I digress. Um, is that a roach or an ant? What the fuck? You see that shit? Motherfucker right there? Anyways. Man. Fuck that ant, right? So anyways, so I'm like thinking like, yeah, I know it affected my life, but what do you mean by that? Because I know I didn't have a fucking father to teach me how to shave. I didn't feel like I have a father to teach me how to fucking do certain things, but I still got them done. You get what I'm saying? And I know that if I had a better way of going about it with a father, then maybe things would have been more like smoother, I'd been more successful. Maybe, maybe. 
but who really fucking knows? You know? Because I had friends that, like, their father died. I, it's almost like when I was talking to him about life, it's like he didn't know nothing. He's like, oh, when I grew up as a kid, all I had was fucking, like, you know, um, parents, kids, friends, that I, all my friends had fucking moms and dads. I'm thinking, all your friends had their original mom and dad? All your friends, nigga? That sounds like some bullshit to me. That sounds like some straight-up bullshit. I'm like, bro, I have friends that are like, my best friend Marco, who died and shit, got killed by the police, bro. This nigga had a, 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 his mom, his dad were separated, his dad had a host, a stepmom, you know, situation. And Like, what the fuck? I've had friends that, like, all their dads were fucking, like, my friend, my old friend, Torrance and shit, you know, high school, his fucking dad uh, was fucking arrested him. He's a baby and shit. He lived with his dad, with his mom and his stepdad. I had a lot of friends that had stepdads. I had a lot of friends that fucking, you know, had stepmoms and their mom was on the side. I had a lot of friends that, I had a friend that his dad fucking died. He literally got sick and died, bro. So it's like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, it's just like, my brother, older brother, you know, my older brother's older than me. He thinks he's wiser than me just because he's older than me, but he doesn't realize, like, Bro, I've been through life. I've seen real, real harsh realities of fucking life. You know, not only that, I've lived life. You have you like where he's like, I'm just so glad I've been inside my mom's house up to this point. You know, I didn't have to. I'm like, yeah, bro, you don't got no. You've been you staying safe. You played it safe, nigga. I mean, at the end of the day, you just didn't. I'm telling you, you just didn't waste any time. You've been in co- but you've been in college since 2008. He graduated high school in 2008. He was still in college now. It's 2023. Think about that shit. Like, bruh. And you, and you have three kids by two different women. It's like, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> you, you've been in, you, in your mom's house, nigga. The whole time? The whole time? <laughs> it's like, bro, shut the fuck up. So, I don't know, man. I'm just looking at this shit like this. <laughs> Like, it kind of, like, made that conversation, like, bittersweet. It's like, I don't want to talk to this nigga no more because, like, it's almost like I'm trying to, I be trying to tell this nigga shit. And then he, every time I tell him some shit, he want to, like, dismay the shit. And if I tell him some real ass shit, like, yeah, women fucking just don't know shit because they're not men, they're not males, so they don't live our lives. They don't, they're never told what we're told to do. They don't live by those, that stigmatization and shit. They're not expected to be hard workers that have to work for everything. They're literally not expected to do that shit. Society literally, whether it's a man, a woman, organization, family, it doesn't matter who the fuck you're helping them, is going to be like, oh, you're a woman, oh, you're out here by yourself, I'll help you. You know what I'm saying? Like, men don't get that shit. And then I try to explain to him, like, there's a difference between black people and niggas, and he don't even see that shit in his own kid, but he keeps on talking about his baby mama, like, she a hoe. She has sex with her. like all these different fucking men and have all these different kids. But it's like, bro, you got a whole, you got three kids by two baby mamas. What the fuck? That's not a, that's not the re, that's not what we're dealing with. We're talking about nigger in it, niggerism. Being a nigger, we ain't fucking ghetto. What the fuck? So I, yo, I'm done. I'm done. But, um, yeah, so I'm trying to come over here and, like, as I was drunk, I was like, I was about to sleep. I was like, man, I can't get, I had to my chest. I was talking to myself and everything. I was like, man, I, I got to get this off my chest. I'm fucking pissed. Like, I'm kind of pissed off right now. I'm about to go sleep in the living room. This nigga's sleeping in the living room with me. I really don't want to, like, be in that, like, you know. So I'm looking up shit, you know, on my phone with trans women, trans women videos things like that, you know, just everything, you know, I'm just not, I'm not with this shit, I'm just living here, <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm just living here, bro, but yeah, you know, um, it's not that I hate my family even, it's just that I don't fuck with that shit, that stupid ass shit, I'm not gonna just, you saw how quick he just fucking jumped to religion, and it's like, what the fuck? That's why people are atheists as fuck. They're not atheists. They don't even want to deal with religion at all because, like, people like him. It's just demons. Demons, nigga. Bring that shit in court. Tell these niggas in court. 
It's just demons. Right. They're going to immediately think you're a fucking idiot. And they know you are, because you are, bro. You just are a fuck. I told, that's what I told them. I said, I don't know why home people, what's going on with these people in their fucked up in life. I don't know what's like, if it's what they're dealing with exactly, like in their mind, maybe some shit that happened to them, right? That's reality. You know, or maybe something they're dealing with, like, around them. Because, I mean, they'd be fucked up, right? But then it's like, you question yourself, is it because they were fucked up? Or is it because they're in a fucking situation now? And that's why it's, you don't know. You don't you can't tell. Because they, like, get angry as if they've been in a situation before. You know what I mean? Like, I'm at the job. Motherfuckers is, like, piece of shit. They get old shit, right? Dysfunctional. And you wonder, like, why do you think it's dysfunctional? Is it because they were born in the ghetto? Or is it because they in the ghetto? Because I'm in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm fucked up. But, like, are y'all fucked up because y'all are, like, born in this shit? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the fuck? That's how I'm thinking. So I'm like, I don't know which one. And that's what makes this shit weird to me. Like, people just be on some shit, man. I don't even know. But I'm going to go ahead and call it 26 minutes in. You know what I'm saying? Um, Catch y'all next one. I don't think do. I'm about to get this THCA. It's going to come in the mail. It's a vape cart and shit. I'm extremely excited for that just because it's THCA and like it's a vape cart, you know what I'm saying? And it's coming in the mail, so it's like fun. But I'm definitely going to be smoking weed. I look at a little Caesar, who gives a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Pizza, pizza. So, yeah, we definitely finna motherfucking be smoking hella fucking weed right now. Not hella weed, like a lot of weed, but just like, we're going to be smoking. But um, I don't know if I'm going to smoke, like, real weed, like, that flower. I don't know if I'm going to smoke flowers because, like, only because, like, my situation, like, living here is, like, nah, bro. I can, I can literally be in here and be like, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this tastes like this, 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 Because it's a vape cart. You know what I'm saying? But, like, being in here, like, trying to roll up a blunt and it smells and then, like, next thing you know, like, fucking family. Like, what is that smell? Oh, my God. And the funny thing is my mom fucking be, like, really trying to look at I mean, and see if I'm smoking weed, but my little brother smokes hella fucking weed. Comes in the house smelling like weed, being high as fuck all the time. I'm not gonna say shit. But me, oh, I'm gonna leave the house and I'll be back for like 30 minutes. You know, come back. I had the eye drops in, all that shit. He went to go smoke weed. It's like, and I'm like not even high no more. I'm just looking at her like, bitch, uh, what the fuck? I literally come back to the house like an hour later, or maybe two hours later, right? I go to the park, do whatever. Come back, not high, not high, bro. You know, man, that shit. Like, you come back an hour, two hours later, not high, and your mom still be like, "Here, you were smoking weed," and your little brother coming out be like, "Hi, so just, what's up, bro?" Smell loud as fuck, and it's like, oh, he's not doing anything wrong. Yeah, like it's almost like part. I, I, I know I don't love my family. But I feel like I'm at a point right now where I'm like, I feel like I kind of have to start taking revenge. I got to I gotta kind of start not giving a flying fuck about them and really do for myself. Like, just really be like, man, fuck this fucking family, bro. I'm not giving them shit. I'm not helping them. I'm not doing that. I'm not fucking crippling my life in any shape, form, or fashion for you shit states. But that's all I got to say. Till tomorrow. All right, guys. Good night. Good morning. Have a nice day. Whatever. See you later.